Good evening. The families left homeless by that massive Hickory Drive explosion in Mississauga had a chance to have their questions about the deadly blast answered by police tonight. Some got what they were looking for, but not all. Is there anything we can do to prevent such copycat incidents? Uh, there isn't actually a way to make the gas lines more safe. They're already kind of designed so that they're safe and they're uh, checked regularly. I have a question as to the amount of energy that I experienced in my home that day as I was home with my children. And I would like to know if you can quantify what I experienced that day. It would depend on the distance where you were, the construction of your building, the construction of their building. So basically I can go on and on with variables. So there is no actual equation to quantify it after the fact. Come on, let's go. It was in the afternoon of June 28th last year that the massive explosion rocked Hickory Drive near Rathburn and Dixie. Three homes were destroyed instantly. Others, along with neighboring condos, were left so badly damaged they were uninhabitable. Late last month, police finally ruled that the explosion that erupted out of 4201 Hickory was deliberate. They said the owners, Robert Nadler and Diane Page, had committed suicide by disconnecting a gas line and waiting for it to ignite. Inspector in charge of the 12th Division. Tonight, concern was raised over Nadler's past. He has served 11 years for murder. I'm kind of surprised that the parole officer didn't notice some weird activity that was going on in the home. One of them was the windows were all covered with um, foil. Since 1991, uh, Mr. Nadler was on parole, had visits every three months from the parole office, but had no criminal contact with the police at all. 33 families are still homeless, and there was frustration at show tonight over insurance settlements and the pace of rebuilding. Organizer Peel Police Superintendent Rob Ryan empathizes with these people and hopes tonight will help them in the recovery process. How do you think the city and police and fire have handled this whole thing? I think my mayor is awesome. You know, I got to give her that. <laughs> She's been very helpful. Um, the police. I, I have no complaints. They've, I, they've done a fantastic job. This is just one aspect that we were able to, to uh, you know, hopefully give them the answers that the, they've been looking for for the last few months. Now the police investigation is officially closed, but they, along with fire and other government departments, are still working closely with the people to try and get them home.